In today's video, we're going to shave with Martin DeCondra's Fougere, coming right up. Hello and welcome to the Lather Hog channel, where we talk about all things wet shaving. I'm your host, John, and welcome to part two of Euro Week. Our soap for today hails from France, and it's none other than Martin DeCondra Fougere. Uh, this also comes in a glass jar. Uh, there's a little note that comes inside here, but you know, plain white box, but just a little something to add to the presentation. And then let me show you the jar itself. So here's the top label and the side label here. You can see that. Now I do know this also is a bit of an updated packaging. Um, super solid, you know, glass jar here. Again, you can also see the ingredient list on the bottom of the jar itself. And I just show this, this thing is filled to the brim. So it's going to be probably a bit of a mess. Uh, this is the first time using it. Uh, as far as the tub itself, I have a sample of the Fougere soap that a friend provided, um, which led me to this purchase. Now as for the other parts of the shave, first up the razor, we're going again with that Gillette Slim, the L4. Uh, it's still loaded with a Gillette 7 o'clock Super Platinum on the 5 setting. For my brush is this custom I got from Mozingo Brushworks. Uh, this is back in the pre-coin days, but absolutely beautiful pour here. Green and black, classic, chubby style handle with a 28mm uh, badger knot from Omo. And for the post shave, we're going with two products. First one being Holy Cow Fougere Bouquet. This is probably my favorite Fougere type scent from Holy Cow, and even probably like top five Fougeres uh, as far as what I've experienced in wet shaving. And the other thing we're going to use is uh, this is a fairly new product, Bear Certain Man Unscented Aftershave Balm. So far with my preliminary tests, I really like the texture and performance of this balm. Okay, so next I'll be loading off camera as I think it's gonna be a big mess. Uh, this is a very, very hard soap. I'm not even gonna bother trying to scoop this out into a bowl. You probably would have to cut it out with a butter knife or something. So I'll leave the messy lathering off camera and we'll come back for the face lather. All right, so you can see here, I try to pick up some of that pre-lather here too, so it looks extra foamy. I've wet the face, working with two days of beard growth and let's just get right into it. Now one thing I want to note for this shave is that it is both for Euro Soap Week as well as Shave326's Fern Boy Week on his channel. If you're wondering to yourself what is Fern Boy Week, that is just any Fougere or Fougere type scented products. I believe this soap recipe has inspired a lot of artisans who have tried their hand at making uh, a vegan based soap. This fougere is interesting in that I get a bit of a medicinal vibe from it. Kind of some spices, some herbs. I've always heard that this was a re really unique scent. And with the sample, I confirmed that. And as far as videos that feature you know, Martin Dacondra, I feel like fougere is the majority I went with probably like a 45 second load, which probably yielded like way too much lather, but I'm really enjoying the scent. All right, so here we go with the Gillette Slim on the first pass with the grain. Just a quick reminder that feel free to jump in on Euro Soap Week, despite the hashtag name I'm trying to use. Uh, you could definitely use a cream if you like. Jump in for one shave, jump in for multiple shaves. Use that tag or give me a tag, shoot me a message. I'll be reposting photos of anyone using that tag on Instagram and I will admit I'm a little scattered today. It's a Monday. As of this recording, 
pretty pleasant Monday, I would say. Nice weather. We've had some cooler temperatures um, all weekend. Had some good recuperative time. A lot of time spent this past weekend just outdoors with the family. And I have to say it definitely helped elevate my mood. It's getting kind of grumpy, angry, frustrated towards the end of last week. It's always nice to find ways to kind of find rest, restoration, super important really. Also along with the themed shave week, where I'll usually kind of mix it up as far as doing different types of videos. Uh, it'll be much more of these kind of talk and shave videos. And after the theme week's over, we'll go back and kind of mix it up. I do want to try my hand again at some of those kind of quick fire type reviews, which I think a lot of you liked. But sometimes it's nice to kind of just kick back, chat about life, and also feature some different products. Yeah, so first pass, no problems whatsoever. I do know that MDC has the reputation for either lacking some slickness or having a bit of a dry post-shave feel. But I, I never noticed it was anything too, too bad. Granted, the sa sample I mentioned that I used before, it's been a while. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes by the end of today's shave. Really liking the feel of this, uh, of this brush. A lot of times I think have the chubby handle along with the 28 millimeter. Sometimes it's uh, just a, too much lather, which I mean, yeah, there's a good amount of lather today, or that it's maybe too big of a knob, but maybe I just got used to it or something. I, I really do like the pillowy softness, but there's enough backbone to pick up the soap with no problem going right off the tub. One downfall of the chubby cell handles for face lathering at least is uh, <laughs> your hand just gets absolutely covered by the lather. So I gotta spend some extra time just to rinse that off. All right, here we go with the against the grain pass. I right, definitely some small, you know, blood spots down here. I don't know if I'm just going a little too aggressive. Try to be a little more careful. I'm definitely getting a strong medicinal vibe out of this fougere. And I don't know why I didn't quite pick up on that in the past. After giving this a few more goes, that might wind up being a deal breaker. I can't say I love it. But I'll still stand by that this is a really unique fougere. Haven't really smelled anything else quite like it. And just like with food too, sometimes it takes a few tastes, like three tastes of a new food before you can really determine whether you like it or not. So I'm not writing this off yet because it's not offensive or anything like that. It's, it's just really, really different from what I've come to expect from Fougere. All right, so today, a bit of a rougher shave. Not gonna lie, especially in this area down here. I think ways to improve that, besides slowing down, um, it's been a while since I used that Gillette Slim. This is the second use since getting it back in the collection. Uh, I might dial it down. It's at a five right now. I can probably give it be fine at a three or a four. 
and the Gillette 7 o'clock, uh, the Super Platinum. Uh, it's not one of my regular go-tos. So, you know, there's some different stuff going on here besides uh, a new soap to my den, the MDC. So first off for the splash, we're again, we're going with Holy Cow Fougere Bouquet. Nice kind of flask style aftershave here. Give a few shakes. Holy Cow has done a few different Fougere type scents. Uh, I think Fern, Fern Concerto, which has menthol. A Fern Concerto that has menthol. Uh, Fougere Mania, which was the first scent to use a Sierra base. And yeah, this scent, this scent I really enjoy. I mean, they're definitely, you know, they're both Fougeres. I think there's quite a bit of variation that you can do with them. This splash has a little bit of menthol. And I have to say, I do like the cooling. Then next up with the unscented balm. I think I wound up getting a bunch of uh, balm on the cap when I turned it sideways before. So here we go. That's probably more than I need, but I can just put it on my arms or my hands afterwards if I have too much. As I said, I, I've used this balm a few times, even just as like my moisturizer for the day. What I like about this one is that it's not greasy, it's not overly thick, and it absorbs into the skin fairly quickly. So if I, for people who, I know, texture is a big thing in using a balm, and this is really enjoyable. And with the, un, with the unscented too, uh, you know, you can pair it with your splash. I mentioned sometimes if you're using the old school, um, slashes with a lot of alcohol, not too many other additives inside for skin food and whatnot. Using something like a good oleo or a rescue potion from Zingari Man can really help um, just bring balance back to your face, uh, particularly after a rougher shave. So I know I'm gonna be very careful with the skin down here for the rest of today. All right, so for the question for today, since we're overlapping with Fern Boy Week, I want to know what your thoughts are on fougeres. I mean, it can be about Martin de Condra fougere if you use this one, or just that style of sense in general. Fougere, fern, green scents. What are your thoughts? Love, hate, don't care? Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me for today's shave. Remember, if you want to jump in on Euro Soap Week, use that hashtag Euro Soap Week. Or just give me a message. Let me know. You did a video, you did a photo, give me a heads up, and I'll try to give you a shout out back. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, take care, and I'll catch you next time.